Okay, I was hoping to avoid this topic like the fucking plague, but it looks as if there's no getting around it. Since the public suicides of Amanda Todd and Felicia Garcia, there has been an abundance of some of the most sycophantic posts on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, you name it. These posts basically decry the lack of so-called compassion from people in our society, all the while giving attention to some of the biggest idiots who probably wouldn't even know the meaning of compassion if a pimp slapped them with a pair of Christian Louboutins, the Botins, how are the fuck you pronounce those overrated ass shoes? Anyway. If you're going to decry the lack of something, you might as well decry the lack of rational people with spines. Over the last few years, and ever since the internet became a, a tour de force, I'm not even sure if that's the right word, but whatever, I've, I've come to realize that we are slowly but steadily being taken over, being overpopulated, by so many people who who raise their children to believe that to make to believe that they are the most special, perfect, shiny, sparkly human beings. However, they fail to instill courage and self esteem and understanding that not everybody is going to see them the same way. And it is these people who will, who not only shrink it back into themselves whenever they see somebody or hear somebody talk bad about them or negatively about them or hating on them, dare I go, for lack of a better phrase. And instead of just seeking help like any rational person with a spine would, they do something that's attention-grabbing, like jumping in front of a train or slitting their wrists. Because, like I said, they didn't use common sense and go seek help. Now, before you start labeling me as a heartless bitch, please keep in mind that I do feel for them. I feel for Amanda and Felicia, and I do hope that their families manage to seek closure and comfort in this dark time. That doesn't, however, change the fact that the reason for them taking their own lives was completely uncalled for. Not to mention, it basically gave their tormentors the attention that they themselves so desperately craved. I mean, as somebody who grew up being the target, being the butt of everyone's jokes, because I wasn't deep enough in the plantation, i.e. acting too white for the likes of the black community. I can understand their, the, I can, I can kind of sort of understand the way, the way that they thought, but by the time I reached my senior year of high school, I began to realize that Trying so hard to please everybody but myself is just so, so exhausting. Also, impossible as fuck. I think parents need to teach their children that nobody is going to think of their little angels and princes as, as these wonderful, beautiful gifts from God or what the fuck ever else. They need to instill their, they need to imbibe their children with the, with understanding, sanity, and an ability to just bounce the fuck back if they ever get in the, if they ever get in the face of danger. And if more parents did that, this would be a much better place to live in. Because I swear to God, if I see one more sycophantic post that we should thumbs up if we if for, thumbs up for stopping bullying, thumbs up if you don't like bullies and blah blah blah. Shut the fuck up, you slack of you slacktivist. You're just doing this to boost your own fragile little ego. 
And then by the time this whole thing rolls around, you're just going to be bored out of your mind with nothing to do except nitpick somebody else's pictures because your life sucks donkey ass. And with that being said, I'm just going to go and, uh... I'm just going to go and aggravate more slacktivists now because that's pretty much the rest of my life. Well, not really. Till next time, I'm Lissa Shell, and I'll see you in L.